Today, we learn about another method of research in psychology, which is psychological testing. In our last lecture, we understood about the definition of psychological test, the meaning of test as a standardized instrument and as an objective instrument. Let us now go to some other features of psychological test. Another important characteristic of psychological tests is that they are reliable. They have a feature called reliability. Reliability of a test refers to the consistency of scores obtained by an individual on the same test on two different occasions. So reliability again refers to the fact that a psychological test gives same scores or very similar scores on two different occasions when given to the same person or same group of individuals. So if I give you a test once and then I give you a, the same test after a few days, the scores are going to be more or less the same. So this is what is meant by reliability. We say that psychological tests are reliable instruments because they give scores which are same or very similar when the test is given on two different occasions. Reliability is of two kinds. One is test retest reliability where the same test is given on two different occasions with a time gap. So the same test is given to the same person or the same group of individuals uh, with, with a time gap. For example, I give you a test uh, today and then after a few days, say 15 days, I give you the same test and the two scores, the two set of scores, one score would be the test score, your test score on today's test and the other set of score would be on the same test after 15 days. So these two set of scores are going to be similar. Uh, this is called the test retest reliability or the measure of the sameness of scores on a test on two different occasions. So a test retest reliability is a measure or a digit or a unit which tells you about the sameness of scores on the same test on two different occasions. The second kind of reliability is called split half reliability which is the measure of sameness of scores between the two sets of scores obtained by dividing a test into two equal halves. So split half reliability of a test is uh, determined by dividing the test into two equal halves. So usually what we do is that we divide the test to determine the split half reliability of a test. What we do is that we divide the test into two halves. One half comprises of the odd number of items and the second half comprises of the even number of items. So this is how sometimes we divide the test into two equal halves and a person's score on or a group of persons score on these two halves of tests are determined and then uh, checked to what extent they are similar. This gives us a measure of split half reliability. So split half reliability is the measure or a quantity of sameness of scores between two sets of scores obtained by dividing a test into two equal halves. Validity is another attribute of a psychological test or a quality of psychological test which we need to understand. Validity refers to the measure of the extent to which a test measures what it is supposed to measure. So a test which is highly valid measures the same quality which it is supposed to measure. For example, if a test is valid, if an intelligence test is valid, it means that the test measures to a great extent the intelligence of the person. So a test is valid to the extent to which it measures what it is supposed to measure. Another characteristic of psychological tests is the norms. Norms refer to the normal or average performance of the group. Norms refer to the average score of a given population. For example, there's an intelligence test. There are certain norms or there are certain average scores of individuals which against which we can compare our test scores. For example, for in a, in a test of intelligence or personality, 
there are certain average scores against which we can compare the test takers score for example i um, uh, attempt a psychological test or intelligence test uh, in specific my score of, of intelligence on that particular test will then be compared against the norms or the average scores available in the test manual so the manual contains all these measures validity reliability norms and these can be the score of a person can be checked against the average scores which are given in the test manual and that is how we can compare individuals with the normal population so if i take a test of intelligence my score of intelligence can then be compared against the score of the average population or the average score of people of my age and then i can ascertain what is my standing in terms of intelligence as compared to others around me so these are the important characteristics which we need to understand in a psychological test let us uh, quickly revise what we have learned so far so this is a summary of what we have learned in this lesson we have understood the meaning of psychological test definition of psychological test objectivity reliability test retest reliability split half reliability validity and norms it is very much expected that these terms may be asked by your board in your final examination as one mark questions so any of these definitions may be asked as one mark questions in your examination so today we have understood the third method of research in psychology which is the psychological tests in our next lecture we will take up another method